never take it for granted. I never um, um, underestimate the opportunity. Um, I always just try and take it in as much as possible and mm. just embrace every moment, every second of it. And I, I think that's what makes me, um, I don't know, have gratitude, you mm. know, for it because I never underestimated and, and um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. It still gives me all of those feelings mm. that you need to feel when you're getting a new job. To me, I feel like mm. you know. Um, so you still enjoy going to work. Oh, yeah. I see. I see. Like, oh my goodness, I have to do this. No, I look. I'm. I'm. I'm that girl. I don't wake up. I jump out of bed mm. um, because I realize that I am. I'm, I'm doing what I love, and there's so many people who can be in the position that I'm mm. at. at, at um, that are praying for it. This used to be my prayer point. So I should never mm. underestimate it. This used to be um, something that I would wake up in the midnight hour for and pray for. You know, and now that I have it, I need to continue to pray for it, mm. continue to be grateful for it. So, um, no, no, ha, ha, I enjoy ha, every second. Ha, has it has it changed the the, the perception, and especially because Umamrut, mm -hmm. it, you know, has it changed the perception of how people view you and see you as as Mamrut <laughs> and also the actress? Actor. Because you know, like mm. yeah. You know, people find it very difficult to understand the line between uh, being in the industry and being in the Christian field, right? Mm. Our TV industry, basically, mm. you know, you constantly have to try and prove yourself to say, no, actually, this is work. Um, so it's, it's, it's a new thing. But I'm glad that when I chose to do what I do, um, I didn't do it for people. I did not need validation. I knew that this is from God and, and, and it's beyond who, who I am. It's beyond what I just want to do. It's something that I was born for. And mm. I felt like through my work and through my ministry, everything will unfold itself you know and i think only now people are receptive to it only now people understand that it's not innocent day it's total you know mm. um when i'm doing work in the industry and um also i feel like what i do works together i feel like god put me there so that my work in the ministry can make sense you know to put concept to everything people would not just listen to innocence and but okay man now hold on let's talk they're like okay we want to listen to her and it's always like such a intriguing thing because mama shock like yo you know maybe she can pray or you know she can preach or you know people just listen mm. and people are just interested and it always surprises them and i just wonder to myself what, what do people think we do go tv do they think we get there and there's some sort of count um mm. that we get involved well in? the industry has got <laughs> its own things though i must say mm. and, and but but in terms of just growth in the industry how, how has that been for you and i mean um i, I know you from way back when you were still doing auditions yes yes <laughs> like when way, i was a nobody like way way <laughs> way 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 back when, when when me and your husband were still for e for etv i think you guys were when you were still the guy we like what going oh my gosh i know a celebrity lord jesus you was, know? was that was that how he got I you i never it's like, thought it's like my friends are celebrities. you know what yes yes Yes, 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 yes. That's how it got me. Exactly. It's like Yes, yes. And yes. you know what? When I, you, you know what? You're so right because even when we were dating yeah. and before we got married, I was like, I want to be in the industry. This guy's in the industry. He's a step to the right direction. Mm. So yes, and he knows famous people. He knows Gwen. That's it. Mm. So who knew? One day I would be sitting Next, here being interviewed yeah. by you. So, so what so, an honor. So, so. So, so talk to me about that that, that growth in, in in the industry and just um, finding your place mm -hmm. in the industry. How has that been? And and especially in in soapy well, but also having yes. to um, diversify yourself and do yes. different things still within yeah. the industry. Yeah. Um, you know, it's such an important question, but I first needed to understand what am I supposed to do? What am I talented in? What am I called to do? Um, and I knew that I'm not going to be one of those people who are everywhere, but are a master of none of those things where they're at. I knew that I wanted to be a part of things that I'm going to be great at, mm. things that I'm called for, things that are part of my purpose, things that fulfill me. Those dreams that I've been having since I was a young girl, I knew that I need to step into that, you know? Um, and so... For me, I found myself 
um, appreciating every single touch point that God has blessed me with, you know. Um, and then also trying to build a personal brand in an industry where you have such strong personalities, such mm. strong characters. Mm. You're constantly competing. You're constantly going to auditions. You're constantly being... Um, uh, I mean, you'll audition until you die. In and, then, and, and, and that's the thing, <laughs> you know. People in the corporate world, they go to, to an interview and they're probably in a company for the next 10 years. They don't know what uh, um, an interview is. For us, you audition for the rest of your life. Doesn't matter how great you are. Doesn't mm. matter how big you are. What a brand you've built. I mean, there's Mac, always going yeah. to be someone that you're competing with. Mekoni Chume, with all her experience, yes. did say the other day that she still gets to audition. I'm like, oh, but, yeah. but you are Koni Chume, oh, yeah. you know, like, exactly. why do exactly. you have to audition? No, you know? I mean, do you know what? And it deals with, with you psychologically. It deals with you mentally. It deals with you in every single way because you look at yourself and you ask yourself, am I good enough? Am mm. I beautiful enough? Am I tall enough? Am I short enough? Am I, do you know what? Every single question you can possibly ask yourself, you ask yourself in this industry and it makes you so strong and so firm but where i am now i know that i'm enough where i am now i know that if it's for me nothing can change that if my name is on it nothing can change it and if it's not for me it's for someone else i celebrate that because it's in the celebrating someone else that i'm able to step into my own work and appreciate it even more because i know that thank you god because it doesn't matter what i could have done to get that job if it's not mine it's not mine mm. so i am just i'm just happy you know, where mm. I don't even look at other people when I get in a room. I just see myself. Mm. I, I, I mean, I know they're there, but I acknowledge <laughs> me, you know, and, and that's very important because when I started, it was like, yo, you know, I don't even speak the same English like this Jova girls or, you know, whatever the case might be. And you're so self conscious. Oh, we like the city girls. You know, and then immediately <laughs> you just feel like jumping in your car and going back home because you feel like you're not good enough, you know. But you need to know there's a place mm. for you. You know, God will make provision for you. If it's something that He calls, you for he will definitely open those doors and make those opportunities come to pass so doesn't millicent your twin sister ever <laughs> get confused for us i'm sure she i'm sure all the time all the time i mean i, I know, would love to hear at some point, <laughs> at she some probably, point. people are like hey it's talking and she's like I hate this oh, thing. Shame. I really feel for my sister, honestly, because at some point I felt like I need to share my, my salary with her because I felt like, you know, I mean, trying to explain yourself to Don't say such things on radio because she would want, she would want <laughs> 25%. You know what? I give her something. I don't give her a salary. But now and then when I feel like she deserves it, I do give her something. You know, sure. just to say thank you because she is very generous. And but you see, the person. good thing about that is that you, if, even if you feel sick, you've got a body yeah. double. So somebody can just uh, go. <laughs> no, I don't think. My you don't need a stunt. You, you know, you, you, Winnie would agree to that. I don't think you need it. I would do, take on that opportunity any day. No? But yeah, no. Mm. Yeah, I have. I mean, sometimes we really benefits. When you return, there must be benefits. It has to come with something. I mean, you're mm. different. Yeah. You know why not? But I would love for her. But I think. Um, no, Millie would never take on that opportunity. Number two, my executive mm. producer would never. And, and I know she's one of your biggest supporters. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Absolutely. yeah. Number one supporter, <coughs> prayer partner. She stands by me. She believes in everything. I mean, I think I think she woke up before me this morning. Because by the time I woke up, look, look, she was awake. Look at your social media guy. When we talk about number one support, please put on your headphones. Uh, oh. Next to, <laughs> he's the social media guy wants, <laughs> wants some acknowledgement. <laughs> oh, thank you, Quella. <laughs> no, you know what? Um, every every person in your life has um, a role that they play, mm. right? My husband has a role he plays, Please and my sister has that. a role. People are oh, not, my people are not gonna call. <laughs> you know, people are gonna call. Do not use the H word. <laughs> Do not use the H word. Just say significant other or something. Never use the H word on air. Yo, yo, yo. Please. It's, it's forbidden. <laughs> people don't like that. Oh, I mean, yeah. I also don't use the, the actually, W way. No, actually, no, I didn't even start because you, the one involved in the conversation, <laughs> I was actually speaking about my twin sister, Melissa. So you involved no, in but this he's conversation. Busy. He's, he's, he's busy. No, you just know. no. Okay, let's take a call from John in Mamlu. You can give us a call 0861987000. Tweets at partfm987 or um, uh, tweet me directly at Marara Mwabel. Don't forget the hashtag, it's power up. We hang out uh, with the innocent uh, Sadiki actress and reality star. I will also be talking about the reality part of this. John, good morning. Okay, let me try that again. John? All right, does it, John? All right. Jesus. Oh. 
Yo! <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Yo, thank you. Amen to that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for that. I mean, that's so important. Everything you said. Amen to that. Thank you, John. <laughs> Thank you, Much John. Love, bye. In the Mami Lodi 0861987002 at 5M987 or directly at Marara Mwabela hanging out with the innocent Sadiki. So, so you are a reality star. Yes. So, so uh, my significant other, who, you know, see, that's how that's how you talk. So my significant other says to me, "Hey man, I saw your friend Ola Wamrut on TV." <laughs> I'm like, my friend, Wamruti, came out. No, man, that other one, the one who's married to the twin. I'm like, oh, Pindu. And I cook. I was like, no, man, this this thing passed. I'm like, yeah, no, I know. So, Shem, he made an appearance. Oh, oh, Wamzamo. You, you, know you bring him to interviews. Oh, thank you. you, oh, you him. I never thought anyone would say that, but I appreciate you even more for that. Thank you so much. Wow. I've been waiting for someone to just point that out. Thank places, you, Jesus. Shem, you take <laughs> How, tell, tell me about the uh, the, the, reality, the show. reality show. Is it reality available? Or or you signed uh, an N, you signed an NDA not to really? No, I <laughs> uh, no no no. Because no. I've got personal questions about reality. Like, mm, really? How real is reality? <sighs> tell, tell me about this one. It's, yes. it's different. Pastors' mm -hmm. wives. Mm -hmm. Tell me, tell me just a little okay, bit about so it. Okay, so basically I received a call a couple of months ago from um, a lady called Mahale Buchanan. She's a gospel musician. And she said to me, someone is looking for you because they're working on a project. Mm. I was like, who? She says, Sonia Mbele. I'm like, okay, no, it's fine. You can give her my numbers. She can give me a call. She gave me a call and she was like, hi, you know, I'm working on a reality show called Pastor's Wives. Um, I think you'd be great for the show. And I was like, what? Thank you. Fantastic. I'll jump for the opportunity because I'm trying to build my brand um, in terms of ministry and preaching. And mm. You're also doing like, some other stuff on TV, right? In oh, yeah. Ministry. Yes, 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 yes. And so I thought it's such a perfect platform for me to be a part of, uh, to grow my brand. And so I said, yes. And then a few months later, we started filming. And to answer your question, is it reality? Yes, it's reality. Um, you know, the emotions are real. Everything... I mean, Lalo. I've always looked at reality. Mm. You know why I ask? Every reality <laughs> show <laughs> that's got women, mm -hmm. but tell her like drinks, like it, like from the housewives of Potomac <laughs> to the housewife. Don't judge me because I I watch Potomac. Uh, to the housewives of yes. of Debbie. Mm -hmm. it's, it's always that, and you wonder if. That's the reality of what's spicy when you know. So I wonder about Ruti, Hali, Mark One, Verse 14. I think it's, 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 it's reality, but it's controlled content. Ah. So there are content producers, in my opinion, who stay up drama. Do you know what I mean? I mean, again, you are different people coming from different places. You are bound to disagree and not to agree on everything. Um, and so for me, I was like, okay. <laughs> you must just watch the show but yeah i mean we don't always agree um but there are very good moments we are all there sharing a common goal not even just a common goal um sharing something similar and that's such a powerful thing to have and i don't want mm. you know the negativity or whatever to take away mm. the, you know, reality, the reason why normally we're we, we watch for drama really and I think that's the unfortunate I, I blame part. The tradition, but <laughs> and, and, uh, you know, but they are real. Yeah. They are real. And, and and this is why they have season after season and after season and it's the longest running reality show and the best reality show because they are real. And sometimes people are not ready for reality and that's why sometimes mm. it comes as a shock. You know, at the end of the day, pastor's wife are also human. They've got emotions. They can disagree. They learn. They make mistakes. They fall and they have to pick themselves up. And through those mistakes and through um, them going through whatever crisis there's an opportunity of growth there and people need to be open-minded for that and just realize that as much as they are on a journey for to pursue christ and to get closer mm. to god mm. it's the same with us every single day i have to make choices to be a better woman of god to to be a better prayer to invest more time in reading the word of god and so people need to appreciate those small moments too
Yeah. Yeah. So Real Baja Mashia ni on Twitter are our cantis to go loud and bubbly like this. That character got tough lop muski the opposite. Man to level quite to have a sharp muski. Bamo hatel. And I think that 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 for me because as somebody who knows you, yes. Um, the real you. Yes. Um, you can see the the, the performance on yes. television and what what it comes out, which uh, again shows the the diversity yes. that, that that I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm acting there, so yeah. <laughs> I have to be different from innocent. That is definitely not innocent. That is definitely Togo, and um, I love and appreciate her for who she is. Um, yeah. Mm. What else are you working on? All I know right. you do a lot of things, so just just. It's um, all <laughs> All right. So basically, I've got a new business that I'm working on with my sister called Saint Kids. We started a new casting agency for kids who want to join the entertainment industry. Mm. Um, so we launched our agency now in January. So that is fantastic. I'm so excited to be working on that. Also, our production company, Saint Twins so Productions. My 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 daughter's signing up. Thank yeah. you. As long as your daughter is natural, her hair is dark and beautiful and talented. Which I mean, obviously, came out of the she's my daughter. <laughs> Need she, you say more? She's, she's more talented than Need me. you say really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, and, she's and, higher, and she wants to be on TV. Okay, perfect. <laughs> you see, and I really love that Gwena because w most of the kids who come to audition for the agency, they know nothing about the industry. They're not even interested. The first question that we ask them if they know how to talk, we ask them, do you want to do this? And most of them say no. Do you know TV? No. Do you want to be on TV? No. But the parent is there cheering yeah. them uh, on. With, with me, it's the opposite. I don't want her to be on TV. But and she, she wants, wants to be. And, but as a, as a, yes. as, as a, I would support her dream. If, if really that. that's what she wants and to do. And thank you. And thank you for allowing her to, to do what she loves. You know, I think mm. that's very important for us to support their dreams too because their dreams are valid as well. So, mm. yeah, so that's that. And then Centrum Production, we produce um, content for an online platform. If you follow us on YouTube, Centrum TV. So, we're working on new exciting projects that are coming up there. Uh, there's my influencing work, and then, yeah, I mean. And Omamuru. And you give Mamuru, you know, and a mother. And I'm and enjoying a, that. And, and a wife, for just, just once. Let's, just for let's control. Use, let's use the w <laughs> and just for and control. And also, I'm working. <laughs> on um, a charity event, another one that we're doing called Mami Lodi. Um, the caller mentioned something important that we always go back. We did have like a charity drive for um, young girls who come from underprivileged circumstances and mm. situations and where we you know we pampered them we did their hair their makeup um it was called my own kind of beautiful because mm. we wanted them to first um feel beautiful because when you look beautiful you feel beautiful right so we did that and we brought different professionals from different industries to come and give career guidance and then there was some um, entertainment and there was more and more so and 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 so we're having another one where we um um catering for 200 girls so 10 different schools from komami lodi and then we're taking 20 learners from each school if not 10, yeah 20 mm. learners from each school and then we're taking the top 10 students uh or top 20 learners mm. matriculants who are girls all right so um you know we're very specific in the kind of audience mm. that we want to influence big ups to all the men and the boys who are doing well uh but for this purpose specifically it's for girls yeah. so we're going to go mommy lord you're going to give back and we're so excited to give them career guidance again to give them love to give them knowledge to give them life orientation to give them life skills you know to help them just you know step up and mm. to know exactly where they're going because not all of them have the privilege of really having um career guidance i mean i had a ghost go long but not everyone has that and so we want to bring young independent powerful black women to come and show them that it's possible we want those civil engineers those doctors those entrepreneurs to come and say look i'm 29 i'm 30 i'm running a successful business i am a deputy director of the city of twine i'm this and i'm that mm -hmm. and it's possible black child look at where i come from and so we always go back and to our hometown mommy Lodi, to try and highlight them also as mm -hmm. well because the potential is there the opportunities no, are there so yeah so that's what i'm working I, I, on I, I swear this is one of the interviews where the guests spoke more than me <laughs> 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 I'm <away>. I swear <laughs> this is I think I was out talked today. Oh my goodness. And no. I didn't even get to ask everything that I wanted oh, to ask. Lord and Jesus. we're literally out of time. Oh Jesus. For for people that and, and I didn't even get you to uh, to Ubabu Toko Skim Sam. You're the second person I'm asking. Ubabu Toko Skim Sam Kiko Parol. Like Oh So I'm trying I'm just trying to think. Like I think <laughs> Like not like 
but I think you definitely are going to be a perfect fit. Go skim sab. Okay. All right, cool. We'll make it happen. That's, that's Don't fine. you worry. For, for, for people that want to follow you, yes. check up what you're doing, um, how do they get in touch with you? All right, so it's Ino Sajiki on Instagram as well as uh, Twitter. I am on TikTok now. Hello, innocent underscore Sajiki. You do the innocent deep TikTok dances. I mean, I'm um, you know I'm, I'm more of a spiritual person. You're, you're man, so I give spiritual content. If you want to be uplifted, encouraged, uh, go on to TikTok as well as I am on uh, what do they call it? Uh, YouTube, yes, Innocent mm. Sajik. I've got a channel there. You talk more like spiritual. Mamuru. I took like Mamuru. Yeah. Amen, man. <laughs> Amen, Nipo. And then uh, they sent Twitch TV as well on YouTube. Please do subscribe to the channel for interesting content. There. How are the kids? The kids are fantastic. They are incredible. They are learning and growing every single day. I got I can give us a ballet, go dancing. I want to equip them. I want to set them up for greatness. You know, mm. I'm trying to, um, you know, to 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 give them a very strong, to give them a push to life. And mm. um, so they're doing great. Um, they are growing every single day. I appreciate my kids every day because I can believe when have you seen my kids? I, it's been a while though. They are the opposite Take of your... what you look like. No, yellow, young, but no, uh, yeah. they are wonderfully and fearfully it's, and darkly it's, it's, chocolate. It's the made. Blood. Well, understand it's the that. Blood oh, from, my goodness, from your social media. Yo, so, when I look at them, I can't believe I made them. They're beautiful, though. they are so incredible. Yeah. But, Lord, they are like the brown skin girls. Fantastic stuff. You know, thank you very much for coming through, spending time with us. It has been absolutely fantastic. Do check her out on uh, Honey TV. Yes, uh, Honey TV every single Friday at 5 p.m. Channel 173. Half past six, SBC one weekdays. All right, a fantastic stuff. And then do stick around. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep campaigning to make an appearance for Skin <laughs> I don't know whether I'm going to be who, what, doing what, but. <laughs> Jay, before the end of this year, it is yours. Come on, declare it now. Before Life and death, talent. the power of the tongue. It is yours. We need to it. We got a new cast member. By fire, by force. Amen. <laughs> it's six o'clock. <laughs> Long for Melele is here with the latest news. Power wow. News. Okay. The top stories. Five as Robert Aaron Long, 21 years I'm old, dead. unincorporated Cherokee County. Thank you guys but for watching. Currently in custody. And Eight people killed in separate shootings in Atlanta and... It is not fair that the public protector is seen, uh, is walking around with this dark cloud hanging on her head.